Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today I want to talk to you about building muscle. Specifically, how can we build muscle using any exercise? So a majority of my channel now, a lot of people that are active here, their gyms have closed down. So they're having to resort to in-home workouts. And in-home workouts generally means lack of equipment. You can't possibly have all of the equipment that you have in a standard gym in your garage and you couldn't have possibly prepared for it unless you already had it now that the, uh, the pandemic is going on. So I wanna talk to you about building muscle using any exercise. And I have a lot of expertise and mastery in this area because 90% of my muscle that I put on has been put on as inefficiently and not optimal as possible. Like I've literally done exercises. People are like, ah, you, you probably want to stick with a better movement, like a compound movement or this, that, and the other. That won't build muscle, blah, 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 blah. And uh, like I said, it's just, it depends on how you look at it. I look at it as a glass half full kind of person. So I know that I've got inefficient equipment. I know I have less. So what I have to do is each set, each rep, the quality has to be that much higher and I have to really focus. Now, when people say, oh, well, you can't really build muscle with like chest flies or push-ups or let's say, uh, you know, maybe a little uh, dumbbell alternating curl. Or what's another exercise? Like a tricep extension, you know, like uh, accessory, uh, as powerlifters say, accessory work. So basically the what i want to talk to you about is how you can take any exercise and make it work for you you can get yourself to grow so the biggest take home that i can ever give anybody who's starting in the gym do not ever worry about weight weight is a means to an end what's heavy for me may not be heavy for you and what's heavy for you will make your body respond, and what's heavy for me will make my body respond. But if we were to switch weights, it would probably be different. You may not receive the same stimulus I do. So there's so much variability. Also, it's how you lift the weight. Look, so many people lift and they just, they don't really feel it, and I know they don't feel it because their muscle isn't growing. Generally, when I see a bodybuilder, I see someone who doesn't have a lot of muscle. I see someone who's so in tune with his body and these little areas, like he can feel and come, to, you know, bring it to life, all of these little areas of his body. And through doing that, he has put on mass because he's a master at altering angles and putting tension in very specific areas, which hence gives him the growth. So let's say we're doing like a uh, chest fly. A lot of people don't feel chest flies, and they may do 50 or 60 pounds. I, for myself, used to do uh, dumbbell flies with 80 to 90 pound dumbbells, and I had a hard time feeling it. It wasn't until I dropped the weight down to 25 to 30 pound dumbbells, and I literally sat on the bench, and I did everything in my power to squeeze and flex and pump the muscle as much as humanly possible. After doing this routinely, I got to where, you know, I got a family. So, I mean, I have about 30 minutes every other day to work out. Literally, between that and my, other, my three other businesses, my family, my full-time job, I literally have about 30 minutes of downtime, and that's it. So, what I have to do is I have to be creative. So, I would take these flies, and I would say, okay, I want to make sure that 100% of this stretch is going exactly where I want it. I want to feel every single little area of my chest. I want to feel it up top near the clavicle. I want to feel it down here near the sweep. I want to feel the whole chest stretch and contract. And however I have to alter my angles to do that, I'm going to do it. So I did that over and over and over. And believe it or not, my chest has grown more doing dumbbell flies properly and feeling it and getting an intense pump than they ever have doing heavy barbell bench presses. No joke, guys. I have built my physique off doing weird, stupid stuff. That's why I made this channel to give to you. Do not be afraid to use accessory type work 
and drop the weight and really feel it. Don't be afraid to do high rep sets. The way, the secret to growth on any exercise is the ability to feel the exercise so sharply, to increase your mind muscle so sharply that no matter what exercise you do, you're stimulating the muscle. You're getting it to break down. The reason people say compound movements work better is because it takes a lot of the effort out of the movement. You can do a bench press and you're pressing against gravity and your body just has to figure out how to get that weight from here to here. And so you have a lot more weight, which means a lot more mechanical tension, which is a way you grow muscle. However, that's not the only way. You can also grow muscle by pumping it up. You can get it by overload. You can get it by tension, either mechanical, you can do high reps. I mean, there's so many ways to build muscle. It's not just, okay, overload and that's it. So consider what I've said, consider looking at other exercises and really put 100% of your effort into feeling the exercise. You've got to feel it. If you don't feel it, you can't grow. So I know tons of people that have a 400 pound bench press and they're smaller than me. Seriously, I'm dead serious. Bench like a Mack truck, but they don't look like they could lift 225 off the rack. I've seen it, dead serious. And like, it always blows my mind, but really what builds muscle is tension and how you alter that tension. It's not even a compound movement. Although a compound movement is more efficient for 99% of people, you can in fact take accessory work, non-compound movements, and you can turn them into a muscle building machine. You just have to apply variables and be smart about what you're doing. I know it was a bit of a longer video, guys. I really appreciate you. If you stuck to the end, you're really a true fan. Love you to death. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. Maybe you've seen something that I said that you don't particularly agree with, or maybe you just want to chime in. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. Take care, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care.